Hi and welcome. I'm going to be discussing what an operating agreement is. And then later on, I'm also going to have a video that describes uh, some common clauses that should be in an operating agreement. Well, an operating agreement um, is there to uh, clarify, to set up rules for the function, uh, scope, and the finances of an LLC. Okay, they are not a partnership agreement, that is for partnerships. Operating agreements are assigned to LLCs. So before you go on to LegalZoom or some of those online companies and uh, you spend some money to get a form, make sure you get the right one. Um, but of course, I always recommend going to go see an attorney as you should um, because everybody's business is a little bit different. Every state is different. Idaho does not require operating agreements per se. However, uh, they are always a great indicator that you are a separate legal entity um, rather than you just personally. So if you're a single member, um, having an operating agreement is very handy because you're able to show the courts and to show banks that you are a separate entity. Um, so why an operating agreement? There are default rules uh, in Idaho that outline what happens in an LLC. Uh, who has the power in a manager managing operating or uh, in a manager uh, managed LLC? Who has the power? All the managers are equal. Um, but I recently had some people come in and they had somebody who was the talent. So he was a, a, a construction operator, somebody who had some more talent, she did the interior designing, and someone else who was the money. So they, uh, they divided up their roles uh, completely different. So one guy was very passive, he sat back, so he was just a member. Uh, the other two were man managers, managing members, and they... Um, had different rights and different rules. So one of them made all of the interior designing decisions. The other guys didn't even really have a vote in that. Um, one of the guys made all the carpentry decisions. Nobody else really had any votes on that. And that's the way that they wanted to set up their business. But if they didn't have an operating agreement and there was a, a verbal uh, agreement dispute and it did go to court, uh, they would apply the default rules because there was not an operating agreement. Thank you. Um, stay tuned for the video of uh, the common clauses that should be in an operating agreement. Thank you.